And this part of your brain right here, the prefrontal, pre, the prefrontal, prefrontal, <laughs> frontal, 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 frontal. Is that why you can't speak? Logan, it's called a prefrontal cortex. But in this video, not only we're gonna talk about Logan Paul's messed up prefrontal cortex, we're also gonna be talking about yours. What is up everybody, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell, all right? So yeah, um, this was actually a video that was recommended to me because I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but I am not subscribed to Logan Paul. But anyways, this commenter right here was like, yo, Chris, he just talked about how his prefrontal cortex is messed up. You should talk about it. And you're dang right I should. So those of you who don't know me, I'm a big neuroscience nerd. I talk a lot about the prefrontal cortex on here. But in this video, we're gonna discuss Logan Paul's prefrontal cortex because he went to go get a brain scan and talk about yours and what you could do to improve your mental health, all right? <clears throat> so anyways, I think the first thing that we should talk about is how, <laughs> how it must be nice for Logan Paul to have the money to go and just get a brain scan all willy-nilly. Like, there are so many different disorders, especially addiction, that could be more easily diagnosed at a younger age or like early interventions if people could just go get brain scans, all right? Science has proven that people with an, an addicted brain um, are, have a different brain than somebody with a normal brain or normal brain, if you will, all right? And this is gonna explain some of Logan Paul's issues as well. But not all of us can just go get a brain scan whenever we want. So anyways, uh, Logan Paul went down there and he was trying to figure out, you know, what might be wrong with him and maybe this brain scan will, you know, let him know. So he did it and it turns out Logan Paul has quote unquote holes in his brain. They're not really holes. It's just that this type of uh, brain scan, it detects blood flow. So it appears as holes on the screen, but it's just less activity, all right? So one of the things is the prefrontal cortex in somebody like Logan Paul, it's not gonna be as developed, but he did have a traumatic brain injury as he discusses, not only football, but also having a fractured skull, all right? Now, one thing that the, the I don't know if it was a neurologist or I think it was a neurologist, he didn't mention is that you know, young people have uh, an underdeveloped prefrontal cortex. So I've mentioned this in other videos, but newer studies show that for women, it develops between like, uh, you know, their mid to late 20s. And for men, for most men, their prefrontal cortex doesn't fully develop until their early 30s, all right? So this is co very common for a lot of younger people to struggle with some of the things that Logan Paul is, okay? So like the doctor was saying in this video, this part of the brain is what makes us human, and that's correct. This part of the brain is what separates us from the animals, okay? Animals are very impulsive. They just go based on their limbic system, which is like our more primitive part of the brain. So we have that part of the brain, but it's more powerful than the prefrontal cortex, all right? So a couple things that you should know about the prefrontal cortex. One of the responsibilities of the prefrontal cortex is to regulate dopamine, okay? So the limbic system is what releases dopamine, and then the prefrontal cortex, it kind of shuts the floodgates. It's like, yo, you've had enough, okay? So when the doctor was talking about how you know, alcohol is the enemy of the prefrontal cortex, drugs included, it is because like, for example, most people who develop addictions, they started abusing substances between, you know, you know, adolescence to their early 20s, like before the age of 25, all right? Fun fact, that's one of the many reasons why 21 is the legal drinking age in the United States, because they're trying to get you closer to the full development of the prefrontal cortex. By the way, my addiction course, The Science of Addiction, is 100% free. Go over to my website, it'll be linked down below. Check it out because I talk a lot a lot about the brain science behind the addiction. But anyways, what happens is, especially in younger people, younger people get an excess flood of dopamine when they drink or use drugs. So that's why the doctor was talking about how drugs or alcohol are the enemy of a weakened prefrontal cortex, okay? but. Anyways, because I'm a neuroscience nerd, I have found many books uh, about uh, neuroscience that I absolutely love. One of them I've talked about quite a few times is The Upward Spiral by, um, dang, Alex Korb, that's his name. Go check that out. It's all about depression and rewiring your brain and hitting this upward spiral. Go check that out. But 
somebody who I've read multiple books on is Dr. Daniel Siegel, okay? So Dr. Daniel Siegel has a ton of great books, a ton of great books. Like I've read like three or four of them, but he talks a lot about childhood brain development, teenage brain development, uh, the brains of like parents and just all sorts of things. So go check out Daniel Siegel's books. Now anyways, he talks about the nine core functions of the prefrontal cortex. So what I want you to think about is A, if you've had damage to your prefrontal cortex like Logan Paul has, or B, if you are less, like younger than 30, you might have these issues as well. So I'm gonna go through a few of these, which might explain why Logan Paul has so many issues, but you as well, all right? So one of them is attuned communication. So this is something that Logan Paul um, talked about, like his inability to maintain relationships. Yes, 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 yes. So something I would often teach my clients is, I don't know if you've ever seen the viral video from Johan Hari, the author of Lost Connections. He also did a book before that called Chasing the Scream, but he has a really famous TED talk where he talks about Rat Park, okay? Now, while I fully 100% agree with the Rat Park experiments and what he's talking about, they have shown that people with an underdeveloped prefrontal cortex lack that connection. So, although many people live in quote unquote rat park, they still feel like the rat alone in the cage, okay? So go watch that video, I'll link it down below if you're not understanding the reference. But with an underdeveloped prefrontal cortex, it makes it very difficult to build strong connections. This is why many people, you know, with uh, depression, anxiety, addiction, it's hard for them to um, connect with others and it's something that needs to be worked on. All right, the next one is emotional regulation, okay? Emotional regulation is part of the prefrontal cortex. If you see that you don't just get angry, you get furious. If you don't just get happy, you get extremely excited. You don't just like somebody, you love somebody, right? This is a problem with the prefrontal cortex because it's not balancing your emotions properly. So rather than having your emotions on like a scale of one to 10, rather than them being like, you know, uh, you know, three, four, five, six, like they're just going full 10, okay? The next one is empathy, okay? Empathy is our natural ability to put ourselves in somebody else's shoes. So you guys have heard me talk about as humans, we are by default extremely selfish and self-centered beings, okay? And a lot of it is to do with our prefrontal cortex. We have not strengthened it to A, connect with others, because think about it, if you can't connect with others, it's gonna make it really hard to be empathetic, all right? The next one is fear modulation, okay? So one of the other um, components of what the prefrontal cortex does is it tells you what the heck you're supposed to be afraid of. This is why younger people do more risky behavior. But look at Logan Paul. Look at Logan Paul and his brother Jake Paul and all the crazy stuff that they're doing, right? Their brain does not process fear in the same way. So like, it's not an excuse, but it is kind of a reason for what happened in Japan. He's not afraid of the consequences. People who have a problem with the prefrontal cortex are more likely to engage in risky behavior. They're gonna drive faster, they're gonna have unsafe sex, they're gonna do a lot of things, maybe jump off roofs and do all sorts of crazy things because their brain doesn't process fear in the same way. All right, the next one is morality, okay? Morality is just doing the right thing, okay? So people who have an underdeveloped or damaged prefrontal cortex, like Logan Paul, they are much less likely to do the right thing. So one of the issues that I had with this was an issue I have with a lot of doctors in general, and that is that doctors push pharmaceuticals, okay? Pharmaceuticals as well as supplements. And those of you who know me, I have no problem with pharmaceuticals. I have no problem with supplements. All right, do your thing, baby. But it is not the only thing to do. So the doctor prescribed uh, Logan some supplements, some fish oil, said that he was gonna give him some other meds that will help, um, you know, kind of heal the brain, like since it's been damaged. And these are all things that can, you know, help with traumatic brain injury. But here's the thing, meditation. Meditation, meditation, meditation. I don't know how many times I gotta tell y'all to meditate. It has been scientifically proven that when you meditate, at least, at least, at a minimum of five to 10 minutes a day, you are strengthening your prefrontal cortex. So it kind of bums me out that a doctor is not telling Logan, hey, you know what else you should do, Logan? 
you should start meditating, okay? They have proven, so Dr. Judson Brewer, his, who is a neuroscientist, who's really big into meditation, mindfulness specifically, he has proven, as well as many other neuroscientists, that those who meditate have a stronger prefrontal cortex and it strengthens over time. So think about it like going to the gym. I've been going to the gym. So imagine if I went to the gym once or twice and thought that I was gonna be like just ripped, right? That'd be crazy. It's the same thing with meditation. You gotta do it. You gotta keep doing it just the same way that you keep going to the gym. The longer you start going to uh, meditate and like you just do it at your house. I have a video coming up soon about some meditation tricks as part of a collab. But anyways, the more you do it, over time you will start to see improvements in logical decision making, impulse control, emotional regulation, the way you connect with others, fear modulation, and all those things, okay? So if you are somebody who struggles with any of those things, start meditating. It is a completely natural way and a completely free way for you to strengthen your prefrontal cortex and make your life a lot better. Okay, so Logan Paul, if you ever watch this video, you best start meditating, bruh. All right, but anyways, that's all I got. If you have any kind of issues with anything that I talked about, impulse control, emotional regulation, fear modulation, you know, um, any of those things, let's have the conversation down in the comments below and let me know why the heck you're not meditating, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron and get some of my books for free, get some exclusive content, be part of the Q&A, go ahead and click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.